What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mode. Welcome to my Xenolithal appreciation vid. He's one of my July challenge participants this year, or 2013 July painting challenge. He did a fantastic job with some Chaos Terminators. From start to finish, he started with a, a single Chaos Terminator and just painted it up very much like World Eaters corn in some really nice reds and golds. And then he uh, continued and made a whole squad of them and they just looked absolutely fantastic. And at the end, the coolest part of the project, it's like he saved it for last, was he made a defiler. But instead of having the arms out in the front like he, you usually see them, he built it so it would look like a scorpion with a stinger tail in the back. So definitely check that out. Fantastic guy to be watching and uh, really good and, and inspiring. <clears throat> So he asked me when I was trying to get an idea of what my subscribers wanted for their appreciation videos. He said that he wanted some kind of a morale booster for if you are doing a bunch of troops, if you're slogging through, you know, 50 clan rats or 60 night goblins. Something that would uh, either motivate or inspire or just help you to, you know, keep from pulling out all your hair and throwing the table over and... Um, throwing your models all out of the window. So that, that's what this video is for. I'm going to be showing my assembly of the Empire Great Swords, which I just did a video unboxing and review for in the background, so you can watch that while you listen to me drone on. And because this is a video all about rambling and droning on and uh, keeping yourself occupied, I am. I decided not to put any music in so that you guys can listen to your own music underneath while I talk. So, slogging through a bunch of miniatures when you're batch painting is not fun, especially in the beginning because you're dealing with mold lines like I'm doing. I'm scraping mold lines, I'm cleaning up flash, I'm gluing and I'm holding stuff together and waiting for it to set. And it's not the most fun part of the hobby, especially when a new army comes out, say Dark Elves, which just came out very recently, and you pick up the box kits, you want to get straight into putting them on the table and, and wrecking your opponent's armies with them. First you gotta build them, and then you gotta paint them. Well, you don't have to paint them, but a lot of people want to. So, how do we keep from losing steam? It's really easy to get burned out. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> it's really easy to get burned out when doing a bunch of miniatures at once. And although I've said in a couple other videos that it's best to do it this way, you know, do all the layers of in one step before you move on to the next step. I, I still do believe that it is best to do it that way, but I believe, I firmly believe that if you want to keep your, keep yourself from getting discouraged, you have to fool your brain while you're working. So the first thing you have to remember is that this is a hobby, right? We do this for fun because most of us are not getting paid to collect paint and uh, just create armies. So, so for those of us that are doing it for the fun, the social aspect or the artistic side like myself, we have to keep ourselves motivated and distracted. And so for, for, for that, the, the, the most, one of the most valuable things that I found, and I would love to have you guys create comments or even do a, a video of, of it yourself, even though it can't be a video response, you could um, create a video about, about about modeling burnout, the the thing that I found most important is that you cannot ever get this, you cannot ever get to the point where you dread sitting down, where you get to your table and you're like, oh, I got a couple of hours before bed, I think I'll paint something, and then you sit at your table and you look at everything and you get discouraged. If you're ever at that point, then I say step away. Step away from the table, put down the paintbrush, turn on the TV, put on Grand Theft Auto V, do something that's going to distract you so that when you do look at your painting table, instead of your models sitting, your half-painted models sitting there and like accusing you of not painting them, it's more like you are looking at your hobby and you think to yourself, well, I really should pick up a paintbrush and put on that next layer of base coats. Or, you know, I really should put together that one unit that's just kind of half assembled and sitting on the edge of the table. The way that I've gotten myself to get into that mode more often is that I will 
trick my brain instead of my brain thinking oh my gosh this is going to be a chore I'm going to sit through the next two hours and I'm only going to probably get one or two more base coats on or something is I will put on on my iPhone a a podcast and iTunes has a podcast thing app where you can automatically put down just give them a list of your podcasts and and it will refresh and update for any new podcasts that come out every single time you hit the refresh button so I've got a bunch of 40k and fantasy podcasts that I've downloaded and uh, you listen to them on your phone and then as soon as, you're, as soon as you're done you can delete them I found this really easy for those of you who have iPhones a lot easier to do than if you are listening to it on your computer because with the computer you've got to um, wait for it to to buffer or download or whatever if you're doing it off of your phone uh, I found that it, it downloads and does all that gets onto your phone faster but that that could just be because I have a, a pretty decent phone uh, maybe your computer is better but basically if if I wasn't listening to a podcast I'd be listening to music or I'd be on YouTube watching a, a long video that's a, another step Think of things that you can watch or listen to to distract your brain. So when I'm on the computer, I like to listen to some um, websites or channels that have like movie reviews or video game reviews or video game let's plays or battle reports for Warhammer or Warhammer 40,000 or you know basically YouTube is a gold mine when you are sitting down trying to work on your models and I'm sure that most of you who are subscribed to my channel already know about my tutorials which are live in action as as it happens uh, painting videos where I pretty much teach how I would paint certain models and uh, I'm not saying that you know my my methods are the best sometimes I go very uh, alternative I give a very alternative color scheme to the standard games workshop one but I like to generally do the heavy metal color schemes to teach other people that it's not that hard to do it just takes a little bit of time which is why I like doing tutorials instead of just uh, videos that are always sped up like this one I like people to actually see the real-time uh, application so <clears throat> whatever interests you you might be into fishing or hunting or or your hobbies besides Warhammer painting or Warhammer 40,000 could be something that you know has nothing to do with it and that's fine because we're all individuals we all do this for fun and we've all got other interests so I encourage you to find things that will allow you to <clears throat> to uh, pursue those other interests while you're doing your hobby I also find that before I sit down to uh, slog through some paint I like to go to cool mini or not or just Google search images of the army that I'm working on that will always give me some motivation from looking at other people who've built up and painted up some fantastic awesome models so the models you know they are expensive we've heard it said so many times these models are like the Ferrari of of miniature war collectible war games games workshop is <clears throat> is you know the uh, the luxury item so even if you don't collect Games Workshop, if you collect Malifaux or War Machine or Hordes, paying money for miniatures is just the first step. We have to get through the painting, we have to get through the uh, the building and all of that. And so we want to keep it as fun, as lighthearted, as enjoyable as possible. Because in the end, like I said, it's a hobby. So I hope your morale stays boosted. Uh, anytime you get burnt out, just step away and um, find find things that will keep you motivated and interested so that you're not sitting at your table just dozing off closing your eyes and falling asleep I hope this video helped you out please go check out Xenolitho's channel which I've included as a link below and thanks for uh, supporting my channel by watching and sitting through this uh, nine minute nine and a half minute video you guys are awesome thanks so much more Empire videos more 40k videos more fantasy videos uh, coming up and I uh, hope you guys are all having a great night. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.